Today guys, in here, um, previously we did this video, this exercise about uh, chamfer, uh, chamfer the wall corner. Okay, so today I'm going to show you another method, actually um, another two method to cut that void. Okay, so first I'm going to create a project. And so I'll create some wall, WA, and okay, so that's, that's, that's the wall. So now let's create a new family. So the first one I'm going to show you is a face-based family. So, okay, so in the face-based family, so here I'm in, in the floor plan, so we need to create some a reference. Um, actually, I'm going to use, instead of reference plan, I'm going to use reference long. So this way we can we can adjust we adjust the shape in 3D view as well. Okay, so I'll create a parameter. Let's call it L instance and OK. So now um, go to front view. Front view. We're going to create another two reference plan. So and then dimension here and also dimension this one. So and then select both of them, create a new parameter. Let's call it W and instance as well. So um, now we need a reference line from this corner to this corner. Okay, so let's try to change the. Yeah, all good. Great. So now let's create a extrusion. So void extrusion. So void extrusion. Yeah. So pick you can you check you can check this uh, lock okay pick and also pick this um, pick this one first let, let me and this one let me uh, show you so you, you you have three options one is the face of this base one is this level so you see that long uh, the long style so that dash that uh, sorry dot dash and the other one, if you tab, you will see this dash dashed line. So this is reference plane. I think they are most of the time they are the same, but here I'm just going to pick this reference plane because I know that will work. Okay, so you can try try different uh, level or the face of the base, but yeah, if if it doesn't work, just need to uh, pick the different different one. Okay, so now this. Uh, is the profile and so if I finish it, let's go to floor plan. So you will see this. You can drag this to the reference sign and lock. Drag this to here and the lock. And let's go to 3D view. So you will see this void. Then we you can just cut base. Okay. So now you will see uh, this is the the void. Okay, so now we can load this into the project and place it. Um, well, actually, let's try to place it in a floor plan and see if it works. So component. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit hard to tell. Let me just place it here. Okay, so that's good. So now we can move it to the corner. Okay, so now let's have a look in 3D view. So uh, of course it's not long enough. You can just so drag this, and also you will notice uh, this little funny shape. Okay, so this is because the 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 length of this space is not long enough. So we can just drag this to and then load this back into the project. Okay, so now that's it. And and just I uh, just want to show you. So when this, because this, uh, uh, if I change this with so for example, you can you can tr change it here, or you can just type in three hundred maybe. So you will notice that it because this void is placed onto this wall, it will not cut this wall. So you will see it when the 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 W here is too too big, it. It won't cut this part. Even use the cut tool, it won't. Okay, you won't be able to cut that. So this is um, so 
not perfect, but uh, if if the the void is quite small, you can still use this method, face based. Okay, so okay, so now let's try the next one. So the next one is uh, still a family. So let's create a generic model. Okay, so generic model. So uh, same, same, but this time I'm going to model it vertically okay vertically so uh, go to front view so first uh, same I'm going to use reference line so I can adjust the saw the height uh, in 3d view as well okay so first create this parameter let's call it H instance and okay so now go to floor plan uh, we're going to the same the same we're going to uh, uh, create some uh, uh, reference plan. So let me think which side which we should place. Uh, maybe this side. Okay. So two of them, dimension and dimension. So select them, create a parameter. Let's call it a W as well. And okay. And also we are going to. Uh, hang on. Let me think where the. So this will be the base where I put maybe a shape like this. Okay, so create a reference line. So it's from this point, this uh, to here. So now let's have a try of this uh, parameter. Oh, good. So now we can create a, a void. So void junction. So pick line, lock, pick this, pick this, and pick this trim TR. So and then go to front view. Finish this uh, extrusion, drag this up, lock, and just let's lock onto the level as well. So now it's down. Oh, sorry, no, it's not. So the most important one for this family is this cut, cut with voids when loaded. Okay, so now load this into the project. So you will see when you place this one, you will see better than the the a face based family so you will see this uh, void okay orange color you can just use your space bar to rotate it so for example I'll place it here at this corner and I'll place another one at this corner so you can continue to uh, do this okay so now we have these three let's have a look in 3d view okay it looks like they are not hard at all enough let me select all and then maybe I'll make it a meter because I know this is a meter. And then also you can change the width to uh, uh, I'll just use 180 for now. Uh, let's just but for this one you it won't automatically cut your uh, your wall. You need to use this manually. So cut this wall and cut this and cut this wall. Okay, so now let's select all these three and change the, the width, the W. So for example, 400 or maybe 300. So, okay, so previ pre previously, so actually you can see it's not cutting the next, the wall next to it. So it's exactly the same to the face based of family. But for this one, we can use cut tool. So let me just change this to a little bit 400 so you will see clear so clearly see so that's the little corner there so it belongs to this wall but we just need to use cut tool again click this wall and cut so now it's a uh, oh, interesting what's that line anyway looks like uh, that's some ghost line uh, okay, so that's that's it. So this I think this works well. Uh, this is a, just a normal uh, generic model with uh, the option cut uh, when loaded. Okay, so uh, that's it. It's all um, it, yeah, it's it's all slightly different, and but uh, the some of them work per uh, perfect. Some of them it's not that perfect, but uh, it's all up to you, depending on the condition, uh, what you need. Okay, so um, that's it. If you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.